Okay, so how would I get hold of EZM Moss? So actually, this is really, really simple. So um, if you go to the Advanced Media Workflow Association homepage, okay, right at the top of the um, homepage, as shown here, you see NMOS at a glance. So effectively, if you click here, you'll go to the, the NMOS microsite um, within the AMWA website, and it gives you lots and lots of information. But actually, if you scroll down here to the second section, which is basically entitled Join the Family of NMOS Uners, Users and Suppliers, you can see here how to how can I use it? And right at the top, get started with the easy NMOS tool set from NVIDIA. And if you click on that, you'll then be taken, it'll open up another page, and then you'll be taken to the GitHub site where everything is actually published and you get access to all of the code, all of the implementation and the instructions. So once I've got easy NMOS downloaded and set up, what will I have access to inside it? Okay. So when you start Easy NMOS um, using Docker Compose or the orchestrator, it effectively starts three containers, okay? Great news is that Docker Compose will actually automatically down these, can download these containers from Docker Hub if you haven't already got them on your uh, server. But once they're started, effectively the first container has a full implementation of an NMOS registry. It also has um, an NMOS controller. Basically, this is a small JavaScript implementation that you can access with any um, browser. And it also has an embedded MQTT message broker, and that's principally used for Amware NMOS ISO 7. Um, so most people probably won't use that in the first instance, but it's there ready for when you want to do it, want to do that. The second container that it starts is basically an example NMOS node. And we describe this as an NMOS virtual node, principally because it doesn't have the ability to send any formal media around your network. So it won't cause any trouble by sending large flows around. But what it does have is a full implementation of the NMOS operational control APIs. So it's great for doing and testing connection management, ISO 7, ISO, ISO 8, et cetera. It implements all of the respective control layers. And that will automatically register and appear in the registry as well when it's started. And then finally, you have the Amware NMOS testing suite and this is the formal, a bit more formalized testing suite that's available through Amware and is principally used by Amware to make sure that the standards are sufficiently strong enough and mature enough to be able to be elevated into stable specifications. So we make the same testing suite available and you can use that for a multiple of different use cases Principally or simply in the first case, you can use it to actually test the registry and the virtual node that's been started up, if you wish. But actually, you can also use this testing suite to test your own devices or third-party um, supply, third supplied devices to make sure that they're fully AMWA compliant as well. So you actually have these three jigsaw pieces, but basically, when you start the Docker Compose, you get all of these started automatically under a single command. 